there's another thing that is just as bad as potentially leaving uh, bad text messages, which is leaving bad voice messages. I came across these TikToks a few weeks ago, and I meant to tell, talk about it on the show, and I didn't get a chance to get to it. But women, there is now a trend on TikTok of women that are, I, I kid you not, are dancing to uh, voice messages left by their exes. And these voice messages, by the way, are like absolutely horrible. Some of them are really harsh. Some of them sound like dudes that are begging to get their ex back. Some of them are just going outlandishly all out, all out and whatnot. And so I thought it would be good for you to hear a few of those because here's the thing, guy. When you are angry at a woman or you're upset, whether she broke up with you or you're in an argument, everything that you try to text a woman or leave in a voice message, when you're saying it or when you're putting it down on text, right, you're going to think that you're putting it down and it's logical and it's reasonable. And because to you it's logical, reasonable, then everything you're saying and feeling when you're putting it down is going to be taken by her in that same way. Objectively, you actually sound like really bad. Like you sound like you're uh, anxious and out of touch and you're going all over the place. And because you're in yourself and you're the hero of your own story, you're not going to be able to see or hear that you actually are appearing this way to other people. So I figured it would benefit you to actually hear and see what that looks like so you can judge other guys and realize, wait, you sound like this also when you are arguing with women like this. All right. So let's pull up a few of these TikToks that I am talking about. So there's this first one here uh, Add to the stage. This woman is going to be dancing to a, a her ex's horrible, horrible voice message. Right now, I'm telling you what I feel and what I want. Your ass figured the fuck out if it's you or not. And if it's not, roll the fuck out and stop texting me to roll the fuck out, nigga. I don't visit you at your house. Okay? So grow the fuck up or roll the fuck out, dog. Flat the fuck out. This is the bullshit I'm fucking tired of. And you go ahead and you fucking do it again. Prove to me that you can't control yourself. Now, I, I, again, I can assure you guys, he really felt as though he was getting his point across. And yeah, he's going to be the man. He's going to do this thing. It's going to make her feel a little nervous and threaten her. And he thought he was, he was going to do that. And here's the thing. Guys will do that and think, but she'll understand that I'm angry and she'll, she, he's doing that to try to get her to call back. Like she, he's really thinking if I leave this message, she's going to be able to hear how much emotion I have and feeling about the situation. And she's going to call me back. But the words he's saying are, are not words that a person that you're dating, you'd want to hear that from somebody else. Right? So you, as you can see, he, he, he's thinking he sounds great. He does not sound great on this TikTok. Let's pull up another one. You too immature a little bitch. To answer your phone. Keep blocking me. I'll just block you back, bitch. So just to recap, um, she blocked him, and he thought a good strategy would be to try to go to another phone to be able to call her to then tell her how much he doesn't need her and that she's the B word and all this other stuff. But just the fact that he went through all those actions, it shows that he is an unstable person. Now I can I can imagine when they first started dating, he was not showing that off. He was trying to get off the impression that he's a completely stable dude, that he's going to be different from all the other guys she's dated. He's not going to be a trashy guy, whatever. And yet, come because when, when he doesn't get his way, this is the message this girl gets. I don't give a fuck anymore. Fuck you. You're a piece of fucking shit. You know that, sweetheart? You're a piece of fucking shit. Fuck you. Man. I bet she's wishing that he, she got him back. Oh man, she's really missing out, right? So, and again, sometimes guys, this is, if you're not aware, that's the thing, is that if you are not aware as a guy that you are going to feel these things when a woman breaks up with you or you're not getting your way, then it's going to cause you to just react in the moment. And your gut reaction is going to be, I need to call her and explain, or she hurt me so bad, I'm going to call her to call her names to retaliate so she can feel as bad as she made me feel. None of these things win the women back. And I find ultimately that I don't like doing exercises that aren't going to give me the results I want. I've had it where, let's say a woman decides she doesn't want to see me anymore. Just like the guy earlier, if I ignore her for a bit and give her space, she'll eventually do what I want her to do, which is start reaching out to me again. But most men haven't experienced that happening. So they just think they got to completely continue to call her and talk to her all the time. 
And then they end up throwing insults, thinking that somehow she's going to understand and be like, oh, it was a mistake or, oh, we were just in the moment. So he's totally fine now. And like, that's creepy. Like she blocked him and she went, he went through some other means to be able to contact her. That's, that's not going to win anybody back. Anyway, uh, I got two more here. Here's another one here. Hey, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but I just. Now I want you now for those of you that are listening on the podcast, I want you to, to read this part. It says, uh, she says, dance to a voicemail, your toxic ex left you trend. And then she says, here's the voicemail. My ex left me after I broke up with him and he threw me into a wall and tried to strangle me. So on the message, you hear him simping out, but clearly he was a lot more violent in person than, than, uh, she imagined he could possibly be, you know, wanted to hear your voice again. That's all. I'm sorry. I just don't know what to do right now. I'm a little lost. I love you. I can't stop. <laughs> She's doing the robot. <laughs> now, I imagine this guy is legitimately sorry. The problem is, especially people that, uh, men that abuse women, they'll, they'll say that because they just want to be able to get the woman back. But at the point that they get the woman back, they oftentimes start mistreating them again. So this guy's got a sob story it's, that's miles long on here, but he could have just not choked her or not done anything to her that was you know, physically harmful to her or emotionally harmful to her prior to leaving this call, right? But the, uh, suffice to say, again, he left the call thinking she's going to hear how sensitive I am and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, some women would fall for that. But a lot of women are like, Dude, when I say I'm done, I'm done. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of being abused. You clearly fly off the handle. And I don't care what your little message is saying. Clearly, you are not a guy that is stable enough for me to continue dating. You know? And then here's the here's the final one that I had here. You actually blocked my fucking number. All right. Just no. I don't do the catch-up game. I don't do the apology game. I've been through this with my fucking ex where she gets all moody and in her emotions and can't. So he, again, he's trying to, he's trying to act like he's not hurt, but it's like, Oh, it's okay. I can. And you know, as guys, we get told that, you know, of the two sexes, we're the least emotional. I will tell you now, guys, that is a lie. The fact that we get so in our feelings when we fail with women indicates that at some core level, not being successful with women hits us in the field so hard to where we try to push off like we're not hurt when we actually are. And clearly, this guy showing you here, oh, I've been through this before where the girl gets all moody. The fact that he's even saying it like that shows that he is emotionally hurt by this situation. can't logically fucking explain anything or talk to me like a real human being. Kind of like what just happened tonight where you spiraled out of control and just allow your emotions to fucking get the better of you. If you want to ruin something that's actually potentially great, so be it. Cool. I'm dodging a bullet then, if that's your truth. Ah, and then it cut off. So suffice to say, guys, look. Real talk, as I've said on the show before, dating is ultimately a numbers game. I know sometimes people will argue with that concept, but really, some women are going to come in and out of your life. But again, you also have to be mindful. These dudes are all doing things that results in these women wanting to leave them because you can tell from their phone calls that these are already like unstable dudes. But here's the thing. You could be watching this right now thinking, I would never be that guy. I wouldn't be so unstable that a girl would leave me for, for some dumb reasons. Guys, sometimes a woman leaving you for a dumb reason could end up triggering you to be just like this. And so understand, there's going to be times where you do not get your way in dating. You're going to be thinking everything's good with the woman that you're, you're seeing. And then for whatever reason, she's going to ghost. She's going to leave. She's going to drop you. She's going to block you. Your job is not to try to further convince her why she should stay. Your job is to leave her the freak alone and then maybe by doing that, she'll come back to you. But of all, of all things you don't want to do, you don't want to leave angry texts because, or, or angry voicemails. Because here's the thing. Let's say one of those exes left an angry voicemail, right? And then she comes out to go to work one day and her tire's flat. She might be thinking, my ex did this. And I got voice proof that shows he was angry enough to do it. And that is all they need to go into a court and say, hey, you know what? This guy was, was uh, leaving me these messages and leaving me these texts that were really angry. And then I just happened to find my, my tire popped at my apartment. Like, that can't be coincidence. And you can get found for some stuff. So do not leave emails, texts, or 
voicemails of any kind that are angry or indicative of you being butthurt about something. Ideally, you're learning more and more to be indifferent to when women do certain things. But if you're not, at the very least, if you get triggered and upset, go to a gym, go to a boxing bag, go to uh, find some other way to get out your anger aggressively than to text or leave messages. It is not going to help you in the long run, and it makes you look like a big simp, all right? We don't want you to be simping around here for women that don't want you anymore. If they don't want you, hey, that's on them. They suck. You're great, but don't do things that make you not look great, all right? Just want to put that out there. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-class man. You are high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-